Hi everyone, I hope all of you guys are doing well. So today I'm going to take the first class in concepts with Manoj. And this first class is going to focus on macroeconomics and GDP. I've decided to start with macroeconomics because it is one of the hardest topics and one of the most confusing topics for a lot of aspirants because they don't have background in economics. So today I'm going to discuss the main main topics that are covered in macroeconomics. Uh, they are also listed on the screen as you can see. I'm going to specifically discuss GDP, what is GDP and how you can visualize GDP, how you can think about GDP when you are preparing for UPC. In the next Concepts with Manoj, I'm going to also cover some of the questions that have been asked on such topics so that it becomes easier for you to kind of relate to what you're studying. So basically, when we think of the entire country as an economy and when we want to study its various components, that is covered by macroeconomics. That is what is macroeconomy and nothing else. And let's say here we have this country of ours, India. It's a very, uh, not a very good map, sorry, because I've drawn it with hand. But let's say this is the country. This country is made up of different, different households. What do you mean by households? Households are basically various families, my family, your family, which lives in the country. So imagine that it is formed of different, different, different households. Then in these households, they do some work, they earn money and they spend this money, right? That entire thing is computed in national income. That how much production are these households which are part of the industry of the country, how much it, they are contributing to the economy, that is nothing, that is what comes in national income. And that is a very important indicator of how poor or how rich the country is. And that is why this it is very important to understand national income. And national income is nothing but denoted by GDP, GNP, etc. Today we will take a specific look at GDP. And then we have money, we have inflation, we have unemployment, we have demand and supply, we have banking system, government policy and trade, which is various exchange rates. So these are the different parts of macroeconomy. So think of it in terms of you being a household. Let's say if you are a simple household, okay, who is living in our country, this is a household and this household has your family, your various members of the family, they're working in the industry, they're working in the services sector. One of them might be working in a car factory. One of them might be a manager at a supervisor at a car factory. Some of them might be working in the services industry. So these various people are producing, right? They're going to work and doing some work. So in this, this whole gamut of things comes into play. Employment, unemployment, some people might be employed. Some people of the household might be employed or unemployed. Then inflation. Inflation, when you go to buy any kind of onions or tomatoes or potatoes or any goods, how expensive they are or how cheap they are, that is covered by inflation. All right, because if the prices are increasing, that will reflect in inflation. Similarly, banking system, obviously, every day you have to submit some money into the bank uh, to in a savings account, in a current account. Uh, you have to take investments through the bank. So all that is covered in macroeconomy and macroeconomy is different from microeconomics because in microeconomics, what we do is we just study one particular company or one particular persons or participant of the economy's behavior. So what is the micro view? Hota hai. We cover only one person, one company. But in macroeconomics, we all combine that and we look at it from a national level or we look at it from a group of companies, group of firms that behave in a certain way. All right. So this is macroeconomics for who don't know anything about macroeconomics. And these are the various things you need to study for UPSC, national income, money, inflation, unemployment, aggregate demand and supply. This I will cover later. Banking system, government policy and trade and exchange rates. Remember, in these sessions, I'm going to tell you the basics so that before you dive into the book, before you dive into any kind of courses you are taking, it will become very easy for you to understand them. All right. That is the main purpose of this entire course, entire sessions that I'm having. So let us go ahead and now try to understand uh, basically. So here I have told you again, what is macroeconomic study of economy as a whole? And it is trying to attempt to answer questions about inflation, unemployment. So you might be hearing about shares rising in the market, Nifty, Sensex, this rising or falling, rupees, the value of rupee versus the USD falling or 
rising all this is covered in macroeconomics now before we dive into gdp what is gdp today i'm going to discuss specifically what is gdp i want you to understand the income expenditure circular flow of the country of any economy in fact so what happens is see this particular diagram is very very important and you should totally understand this particular diagram all right so what this diagram shows is that there is a household i showed you right there is a household like your household in your household you might have a person your father your mother who is working in a company let's say this company is this firm and this company makes we will make it easier we'll make it this company makes cars okay this company makes cars and your father or mother is a supervisor there so what does your father or mother do your father or mother provides labor to that particular company here see this particular so this your father or mother is providing labor to that particular company and in exchange that company is giving your parents a particular income all right so this particular income so your father or mother from your household this particular household is providing labor in exchange of labor the company where they are working is giving in exchange some kind of income in rupees now after your father or mother get this income they want to spend it so they spend it on various things they might be spending it on your school education health care or even for buying some product from the market so let's they let's say they go ahead and buy a particular car and that car turns out to be your company's car where they are working so in exchange they are expending their money or they are incurring expenditure they are paying this particular company a particular amount all right let's say they pay 2 lakhs for the car and in exchange they are getting the goods or the car all right so in exchange they are getting this car so this is the circular flow ki main kaam karta hu i am working in a factory in exchange i am giving them labor in exchange i am getting money that money itself is going back to that company and that company is giving me goods that i need for my survival this is how the entire macroeconomics works and if you keep this in your mind it will become very simple for you to keep a track of where what is coming from and where overall how the economy is working so now we have understood this from a simple example now we will go into gdp gdp what is gdp so gdp full form is gross domestic product and what are the various so what is gross domestic product try to understand the words gross means total domestic means local and product means output so total local output so whatever is the total local output domestic output of our economy that is gross domestic product what does total you mean if you add everything different different ones domestic means local it can be a city it can be a state or it can be the country or it can be the entire world also or it can be even a continent so whatever you are in domestic whatever you are including you can say that so in the, normally this is used in terms of countries so india's gdp product product is nothing but output of that particular country what does that mean that means is that whatever that particular country is producing whatever products it is producing the final value of those products the final market value of those products in that particular country in that economy in a period of time let's say one year or two years that is totally known as gdp so let's say i'll give you a hypothetical example there is a country a okay just imagine there is a country a this country a produces only cars nothing else this country a let's say this is the map of the country it's a rectangular company country a and it produces nothing but cars and let's say the value of these cars in the market is 2 lakhs rupees per car and it produces 100 cars so in 200 so it produces 200 lakh or 2 crores 200 lakh worth of cars so what is the total gdp of this country it will be 200 lakhs whatever is the total output total market value of a particular country's total production that is basically nothing but gdp gross domestic product and that is what i have shown here in a very simple example similarly india mein whatever goods are being produced over the entire year 
all combined together come to gdp together you can add them into gdp of that particular country all right so that is what gdp of a country is and um, obviously you take it in a particular period of time all right now remember that being said remember that we do not take the sale of used goods we do not include that in calculation of gdp remember that if a product has already been produced it has been sold once then again when it is sold then we do not take that value in gdp all right gdp is computed in different ways you don't need to understand that you just need to understand if it, there is a change or something basics of that you can study in upsc materials but i will try to just make you understand how gdp is calculated normally by the economists because if you understand that you can answer a lot of questions in prelims sometimes these kind of basic questions come so normally we try to understand gdp or calculate it through expenditure method what is that expenditure method that basically jitna log kharch kar rahe hain whatever people are spending we calculate that and we add that and then we calculate gdp because it becomes very difficult to calculate it if we try to calculate it through income point of view from expenditure point of view it is much easier to calculate so how do we do that so gdp is nothing but c i g n x addition of all these c i g n x what is c c is consumption e i i is investment g g is government expenditure and n x is net exports now let's imagine a country india or let's say i'll make it easier for you let's imagine a box country country a which is producing cars so cignx perspective let's apply to this all right simple will help you c is consumption so all the people who are buying these cars people or households that will be the consumption right so let's say it is producing 200 2 lakh worth of cars one car 100 cars so 200 lakh of cars what is that now that becomes the consumption of that particular country so let's say out of this 200 lakhs so this entire production is not the consumption of the country let's say out of this 200 lakhs of cars they are only able to sell to the people 100 lakhs of cars why because let's say people there are people are willing to only buy that much so what is the consumption of this country 100 lakhs so consumption what people are buying they are only buying cars now we are imagining people don't need food in that country people don't need house in that country they just need cars okay for for their consumption so just to make it easier now next thing is investment now let's say the government let's say the person a person let's say not a person x in this country is a very rich industrialist and he wants to make a new car factory to produce even more cars he is like chalo aur bhi banate hain we will export these or import these whatever right so he creates a car factory of rupees 50 lakhs so investment would be 50 lakhs because he is buying new equipment he is investing in making a factory so investment is 50 lakhs now let's say g is government spending government expenditure now the let's say the country government decides the government of the country thinks are car ko chalane ke liye road chahiye we need roads to run the car so they try to build roads in the country so that roads will cost let them 50 lakhs that expenditure for that particular year let's say this is year 2022 all right then net exports net exports is what exports minus imports let's say this country exports the cars now 100 lakhs of cars people have bought now let's say rest 100 lakhs of cars out of 200 lakhs it exports to ye 100 lakhs of exports aa gaye minus imports let's say now people need food to survive in a country now let's say this country imports roti or wheat of rupees 100 lakhs so minus imports of 100 lakhs because net exports is exports minus imports so this is zero 
सो नाउ यू एड दिस आप सी आई जी एन एक्स इस सबको एड कर दोगे हंड्रेड फिफ्टी फिफ्टी प्लस जीरो टू हंड्रेड सो दिस कंट्रीज इकोनॉमी इज जी डी पी इज टू हंड्रेड लैक्स सो जी डी पी इज नथिंग बट द एडिशन ऑफ कंजम्पन इन एन इकोनॉमी इन्वेस्टमेंट इन एन इकोनॉमी टोटल नंबर ऑफ गवर्नमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर सो दैट प्लस नेट एक्सपोर्ट्स कंजम्पन में क्या क्या आता है कंजम्पन में वेरियस थिंग्स कम इन डन इकोनॉमी कंजम्पन यू कैन बी बाइंग कार्स यू कैन बी बाइंग फूड यू कैन बी बाइंग शूज यू नो यू कैन बी बाइंग सर्विसेस यू कैन बी बाइंग बुक्स एज यू पी एस सी एस्परेंट्स सो दैट इज पार्ट ऑफ कंजम्पन वॉट इज इन्वेस्टमेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट इज नथिंग बट सम काइंड ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट और सम काइंड ऑफ स्पेंडिंग ऑन क्रिएटिंग फ्यूचर इनकम सो लेट्स ए यू क्रिएट ए कार प्लांट और यू क्रिएट ए हाउस न्यू हाउस All this has to be new. Remember that new house, new car plant. So that is an investment. Government expenditure is nothing but let's say roads, military expenditure, whatever military expenditure government is buying new fighter jets that comes into government expenditure. And net exports minus imports is nothing but जितना आप country से बाहर भेज रहे हो उसका पैसा अंदर आ रहा है और from outside whatever the goods you are importing, India imports a lot of oil. उसका पैसा बाहर जा रहा है तो अंदर आने वाला पैसा माइनस बाहर जाने वाला पैसा दैट इज नेट एक्सपोर्ट्स सो व्हेन यू एड अप सी आई जी एन एक्स इट कम्स टू नेशनल इनकम सो दिस इज जीडीपी दिस इज व्हाट आई वांटेड यू टू अंडरस्टैंड टुडे व्हाट इज जीडीपी वेरी सिंपल वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड रिमेंबर वेन यू आर गोइंग इन एनी काइंड ऑफ मेन टॉपिक्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द टॉपिक्स बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट Here the basic concepts are GDP, money, inflation, unemployment, demand and supply. First understand the basics, then go into the de details. Before, because if you go right ahead into the details, it will become very difficult, and that's why you waste time and that's why you get confused. So that is why I have started this. I hope it will help you. If you want to continue to learn with this, you want to do a lot of answer writing, especially because mains are very close. So those of you who are doing answer writing, you can. go ahead and look at the book also various answer writing sessions also i have done and that will help you all right so hopefully this helps you in your preparation let me know if this is helpful if this is not helpful then i will stop doing this and i will maybe do something more productive but i think i will just do basic concept basic 20 50, 20 30 concepts of every subject polity economy and environment so that you can get help take care bye bye i hope this helped you today